uh, with regard to the war last July, this was an absolute disgrace. Israel disgraced itself. It disgraced uh, uh, its, some of its Zionist figures. It engaged in criminal acts um, of, a, of a nature which disgraced this, uh, 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 Israel. The use of cluster bombs in a gratuitous manner within the last 72 hours of the war, just so babies and innocents would die for months afterwards. Uh, to think that the kidnapping of two soldiers on their border uh, with Hezbollah and one soldier in Hamas could lead to this, it, <coughs> it was almost beyond belief that they would use this as an excuse to exterminate Kana, to destroy South Be Be Beirut, and the United States, which is typical, essentially said, continue this killing of Arabs. Uh, Arabs are not Americans, but we have five, six million Arab Americans in this country. Um, and so um, uh, it was a, a pitiful disgrace that the United States supports Israel in the manner that it does. And so you oppose war, you don't support the troops, they say. If you criticize Israel, you are anti-Semitic. Well, you have to do it anyway. You have to stand up for peace and justice. You have to stand up against racism. You have to stand up against having concentration camp walls being built uh, through the West Bank. You have to stand up against targeted assassinations. You have to stand up against 300 to 400,000 Arab peoples that were displaced when this mistake was created in 1948. You have to stand up and you have to say that Israel acts in a, a criminal manner, as President Carter said, practices apartheid with the Palestinian. ما در این قسمت از برنامه بخشی از مصاحبه آقای دکتر پیتر کریستیان استاد تاریخ دانشگاه سنت زیبو در شیکاگوی آمریکا که حاوی مطالب جدیدی در زمینه معاهدات بین المللی است پخش می‌کنیم امیدواریم که مورد توجه گرامی شما واقع بشید. Do not know what international comity is. We violate security council resolutions. We violate international treaties. We are an outlaw nation, and all we do is claim, well, uh, <clears throat> Hamas is terrorist, Hezbollah is terrorist, uh, 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 South, uh, North Korea has violated this agreement, uh, Iraq under Saddam. So we go around and we claim that this resolution has been violated. And it is almost, it makes almost a mockery of international relations. And finally, I would say, I never thought I would see this day, but the United States is really indeed construed as a pariah state now. We are, the, the, uh, most of the world sees the United States as a negative impact on international affairs. It is astonishing. It is unbelievable. It is one of the most remarkable developments. I'm not glad to see it. I'm sorry to see it, but the United States' reputation in the world now is much closer to the reality than it's ever been before. It's over. It's over where the United States can simply anticipate that the rest of the world is going to admire it. We've killed too many people. And, 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 and finally the world is beginning to recognize that not only do we kill people, uh, 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 not only do we kill people, well, that they're beginning to see Vietnam, they were close to seeing, but now they're seeing Iraq was a war that did not need to be fought. It was a completely elective war. There was no reason to fight that war. And so whether or not this will modify our behavior, I don't know.